off my stage. Last year, Sean proposed to the love of his life, Nicole, and she said she was pregnant with his baby. But a few months later, Sean began to suspect that she lied about the pregnancy. According to him, she wouldn't show him any sonograms, pictures, or paperwork. And then she told him she had a miscarriage. Sean hates to doubt the woman he loves, but can't shake the feeling that she's hiding something. All this and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. I did not lie about miscarrying his baby or digging up the grave. Why would anybody dig up a grave? People are crazy. Yeah, exactly. People are, people are crazy, right? <laughs> you know how bad I want to have children. I'm too good of a man for you to be lying. I have the medical papers at my house. Why didn't you bring them in? I was going to mail them to you. Whatever, man, whatever. Did you fake your pregnancy? No. You plan on marrying her? Yeah, I plan on marrying her. If, if the results come out right, if you're crazy, I believe the whole world should know you're crazy. He coming in smelling like other women. Coming in with scratch marks on his bag. He came in with a hick and told me it was a mosquito bite, Steve. He was always accusing me of cheating on you, so that's why I did. How many times did you cheat on her? I can't even count. I can't even count on my fingers. But you did make one mistake. You slept with somebody you probably shouldn't have slept with, right? Yes. OK, let's bring that person up. No, 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 no. This is wrong. This is wrong. I'm here to find out if my fiance is lying to me about having a miscarriage. We've been together two years. Uh, six months into the relationship, you know, first six months, great, man. Couldn't ask for better. Um, six months into it, she just, she started lying to me about supposedly having a stalker. She said she was having a stalker. I had somebody watching her. You know, it went on for three or four months. You know, I, I kind of just was like, Whatever, you know, I tried to protect her. She said he was out at the house, you know, in the woods, and could describe my house to a T, what I drove, the clothes I had on, everything. So it just abruptly stopped one day. So I was like, all right, whatever. You're not know, swept under the rug. I forgot about it. All right, well, then about four months later, she says she has a medical condition where she has a laceration in her kidneys. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know, no problem. So I, I got a phone call when I'm at work. She calls me. And, uh, and says, I got to go to the hospital. OK, cool. You know, something's wrong with my kidney. I got to go. I'm like, all right. So I, I leave work, start going to the hospital. You know, it's like four hours away from my, my house. I leave. Well, about halfway there, something just told me, call and see, you know, if she's really there. Because I just had these doubts, man. You know, I, I didn't, it didn't add up. And usually if it don't add up, it's not true. Right. So I called the hospital. I asked. I gave her her name. And I hadn't had nobody there about, you know, in three to six months by that name. So, you know, okay, cool. I call her up. I ask her about it. She tells me the truth. She says that she told me that lie because her friends claim that if she told me that, I'd love her more. Okay? That First, if she had a lacerated kidney? Yeah, that I'd love her more. And, uh, if I'd, she had a lacerated yeah, kidney? Yeah, that it made me love her more. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, what? And I was like, first of all, it's going to make Sound me like chicks you. with, you know, really good kidneys. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> me too. Me too. You know? So I'm like, okay, whatever. So that's the first time she lied to me. So then it goes on. We're good. Then in December 2013, she comes to me. She tells me I'm pregnant. All right, I'm on cloud nine, man. Like, you and, know, now, and how long have you been together at this point? Uh, almost a year. Uh, when she tells you she's yeah, pregnant? Yeah, almost a year. And so you're happy when yeah, she tells you that super she's... super happy. You know, about a month later, she calls me up, tells me she's having a miscarriage. Well, first thing I tell her is go to the doctor, you know? This is a month after she told yeah. you she was pregnant? Yeah, and around January the 15th and, uh, of 2014. Right. And uh, uh, she tells me that she's having a miscarriage. Okay, so, you know, I tell her to go to the doctor. She uh, says, no, I'm not going to go to the doctor. I'm just going to wait out and see what happens. All right. That don't make no sense to that me. That makes no sense. Yeah, like, why are you going, you know, if you're having a miscarriage, why are you going to she, not go? She seek, seems like she seeks a lot of attention, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, big attention, like, seeker, and I'm not the one to, you know, do that. So then I get off work. You know, I don't think nothing about it at work because I didn't want to influence, you know, me not be able to do my job. So I go home. Well, on my way home, my phone's just blowing up. So I wait till I get home. I check my phone and I got all these pictures and they're just gory, gory pictures of like where she's supposed to have a miscarriage, you know, and then she sends me the third one and it's her palm, it's supposed to be the palm of her hand with a little fetus laying in her hand. Yeah. And I was like, what? So I, admit, I immediately get emotional. 
you know, and start crying, you know, and I, I but, went. But she didn't go to the hospital. No, uh-uh. And then she comes up the next day. She tells me she went to the hospital. So I ask her for the proof. I'm like, where's the proof? You know, you went to the hospital. They'll give you proof. She couldn't give me no proof. So immediately I start asking questions. Well, when I start asking questions, she started responding back. It didn't add up. You know, and I was like, okay, whatever, you know, so I kind of screwed up. I kind of just forget about it because I was I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, she's telling me the truth. She's telling the truth. She's not. She's not. And then exactly a day before the year anniversary of all this, supposedly she thinks she's having a miscarriage. So she Googles what does a miscarriage look like on Google. The first picture it pops up is the picture she sent me with that fetus in her hand. Boy, I tripped. I'm talking I flipped. Well, after I got calmed down. So basically down, your girlfriend just printed out pictures she found on Google. Yeah, yeah, basically. And so I, I message her and I ask her, you know, what is this? And, uh, and she's like, I swear to God, first thing she said, I swear to God I'm not lying to you about this. You know, like, I, I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. I know how you feel about children. And I called her bluff. You know, I called her. I told her, I was like, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? You need some psychological help. If you were lying to me about this, like, you got some issues. And she wouldn't tell me the truth, so I told her, I was like, well, if you agree to take a polygraph test, you know, and we'll go do it. She Isn't said, Isn't that yeah. terrible that you're in a relationship where you have to, like, lie detector test yes. somebody that you're with? Yes, like, Especially, I should be able to trust and this ain't you. even about, like, cheating. This is about just her, let's say, if, if she's telling a lie, making up a crazy story, right? Yeah, right. yeah. So that's why I called your show, okay. is because I need answers. If I don't get the answers, you know, I told her, I was like, if I don't get the answers, then we're going to continuously have doubt. You know how bad I want to have children. I'm too good of a man for you to be lying. I have the medical papers at my house. Why didn't you bring them in? I was going to mail them to you. Whatever, man, whatever. Did you fake your pregnancy? No. You plan on marrying her? Yeah, I plan on marrying her. If, if the results come out right, if you're crazy, I believe the whole world should know you're crazy. <laughs> You know how bad I want to have children. I'm too good of a man for you to be lying. I have the medical papers at my house. Why didn't you bring them in? I was going to mail them to you. Whatever, man, whatever. My wife told me uh, after after she told you she had a miscarriage, you, you guys held a memorial service. Yeah. Well, she called me up the day after she had the miscarriage, and it was about 1230 at night. I just got off work. Are you living together with her? Now, I was at the time, but I, after that, I kicked her out. You know, I told her, get, go. I can't handle it no more. Like, go. You know? And uh, she, she called me up. She, you know, she said, you need to come over and, uh, and help me bury our baby. All right, cool. I said, well, what about, let me call a mortuary service and have it done right. Right. She's like, well, that costs like $5,000. I said, I don't care how much it costs. You know, that's my child. Like, if that's my child. I want my it's child to be It's not like you're burying a dog in the exactly. backyard. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And that's the way she was treating it. So I was like, you know, it's kind of crazy. So I went over there. I got a family member to go with me. And um, we buried, we were standing there. She had this little white box. It was like a mail order box. She uh, had it taped up. And uh, I wanted to open it. And she refused. Just refused. That's to where let the me baby was supposed to be in the yeah, box. Yeah, it was supposed to be in the box. And she refused to let did me she, open the box. Didn't you think that's crazy that yeah. she put the baby yeah. in a box? I automatically thought it was crazy. And I even told my family member that was with me. I was like, man, this just don't add up. And so I. I was like, all right, whatever, you know, to make her feel better, I buried it. And I didn't ask no more questions. Didn't open the box, didn't destroy the box, nothing like that. I, I shook it a little bit, kind of here, see if something was moving. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I, I had to know. Yeah, I had to know. You know, I had to know. So, so after I put it in the ground. You, you know, I just will stop you right there. Yeah. Because I do interviews all the time. People are like, does anything shock you anymore? And I'm like, yeah, because when you think you heard it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, you know, like, I mean, and, I, and I'm not blaming you because I'd be yeah. curious too, but like, I shook the box to see if a baby was in it, you know? Just like, to, to hear. I mean, it's like, how crazy does that right? sound? That, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Right. Yeah. And so uh, we buried the child, what's well, supposed to be the child. You buried the, the box. box. Yeah, yeah, we buried the box. Well, then, um, 
the, the, the next day was the year anniversary of all this. I wake up, you know, getting my, start my day, ready to start my day, and uh, I got a message come through on my phone. You need to call me. Why you have your goons come up here and dig up my baby's grave? Why'd you come up here and dig up my baby's grave? I said, what you talking about? You know, like, why would I drive six and a half hours away? Because I moved from where she was living to just get away. There's the picture right there of the of grave where, site. Where the, where your, where, yeah, what, the alleged child was buried. Yeah, and that's after the day it was uh, dug up. When, and when was this dug up? Uh, the 26th of this, of month, this of, month. Okay. Yeah, just so about just a two few days, days ago. ago. Yeah. And, and that, but you buried the child a, a year ago. A year ago. Okay. So she calls you up, thinks you or your friends dug this up, and and then what happened? I told her I was like, "There's no and way." And are you still with her? Yeah, I'm still with her. I, I mean, you know, I try to give her the benefit of the doubt. Are you living together with her? No. No, but you but no. you plan on marrying her? Yeah, I plan on marrying her if if the results come out right. But if they don't come out right, she can get the hell out of my life. What? Yeah. I'm a real talk. Okay. Uh, now, you were supposed to get married, and you postponed your wedding, right? Yeah. Okay. We were supposed to get married uh, May 19th of 2014. Now, if she fails this lie detector test, the relationship's over or... Oh, it's so over. It's over. It's over. Yeah. There ain't no more. She can take that ring and throw it out there to the crowd and let one of them have it. Mm. Like real talk. <laughs> well, she's definitely piqued my interest in the story. Uh, let's meet your girlfriend, Nicole. I would never lie to you about this. Boo! And how are you yes, gonna tell me you ain't lying? I would not lie. lie to you about this. How are you gonna tell me that? Because I'm, I'm not lying picture. to you, Sean. I would never. You know how bad I want to have children. Yeah, but you want to have children, but you're gonna go online, get some pictures, and then send them to me. No, and I find the no, same ones. They had no, to explain to me how no. I find the same exact pictures. Those aren't the me. same. I'm not a boo boo to fool. And what okay? happened last night? I didn't what fall off the train night? yesterday. Everything. There's a whole bunch that you lied about. We weren't supposed to get married on May 19th. We were supposed to get married on May 17th. Uh, you, when I, I didn't know I was pregnant until I was carriage. You never asked me about or anything like I that. I asked you, I said, where's no, the proof? No, you didn't. Yes, no, you, you didn't. Don't come out here trying to lie in front of I'm all these folks. I'm not trying to lie in front of all these That's folks. That's all you do. I know. All no. you do is tell a lie. You cannot tell me the truth or nothing. I've been good to you. I was there when I kicked your ass out the house. Who come pick you up at 2.30 in the morning? Me. Not nobody else. Me. Me. I gave I spent money on you. You ain't never gonna give me hell. You, it's your way or the highway. You know what? The highway's out there. If it ain't, if this ain't true, take your ass and hit it. Do a call. Do a call. But I'm not dealing with it. I'm too good of a man. I'm too and good I of a man. And I never said you weren't. Okay, then. I'm I too never, good of a man have, for you to be lying. I have the medical papers at my house. Why didn't you bring them then? Because Why they're sealed up. Because I was going to mail them to you. Whatever, man. Whatever. No, whatever, yo. That, you you asked me to mail them to you. You okay. asked well, you, me to mail okay, them to you. Okay, you knew it was coming up here. Why didn't you just bring that little mail package because with you? Because I almost didn't make it, remember? Okay. Yeah, almost. Um, first of all, uh, you did lie about the whole kidney story, right? You did yes, admit I did. to him that you and made I that admitted up. that to him. Uh, why would you make up a story like that? I'm a grown woman, and I know my friends shouldn't influence me, but my friends influenced me. They said, they said, say, lie about your kidneys being lacerated. No, they told me. They said, if you tell him you're sick or you're hurt, then he's he's going to come to you. He's going to give you the attention that you've does been he, wanting. Does he give you attention? Yeah, but not like I thought he was going to. Why would anybody dig up a book? People child? are crazy. Yeah, exactly. People are people are crazy, right? <laughs> if you're crazy, I believe the whole world should know you're crazy. You plan on marrying her? Yeah, I plan on marrying her. If if the results come out right, could you be trapped in a big lie? So here's your chance to tell the truth. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Are you lying that you miscarried the child in January of 2014? And you answered no. And they came back to you, Nicole. Did you fake your pregnancy? No. So you were you were pregnant? Mm hmm Okay. Yes, sir. Um, and then you had a miscarriage? Yes, sir. At home? Mm -hmm. And what did you do? 
I called my doctor and she said, are you sure you're having a miscarriage? I said, yeah, I think so. And she said, what do you want to do? And I said, you tell me, you're the doctor. The doctor said, what yeah, do you, you want to do? Well, hold on, hold on a second. You call the doctor and you say, I think I'm having a miscarriage. And the doctor said, well, what do you want to do? She, had, she told me to make sure it was real. She ask you what was real? To make sure that it wasn't just like a heavy period. Okay, so, and what did you do? I was like, okay, and I, t I told her everything that happened. What happened? Tell me what happened. I passed, I passed this little blood clot, and then you could tell that there was something in it. So you scooped it up and you put it in a box? Mm -hmm. I wrapped it up in one of my t-shirts, put a picture of me and Sean in there, and a seashell from when we went to the ocean. And you put it in a box, mm -hmm. and you didn't, know, you didn't think to notify, like, uh, the county or the hospital that you had a miscarriage? I didn't know that you, I mean, I went you to the doctor. Want, you didn't want to get physically inspected by a doctor? I did. At the end? I did. And what did they say? I got the paperwork at home and it were the little at diagnosis. Home, it ain't here. At home, it ain't here. I left it on That's my dresser all the way where down I was going to send it to well, you. Well, you've had it for a year though, right? Exactly. He's never asked, never once asked me for <laughs> work. Never for a once. year? He's never Bull. asked for never it? Never once. So, so then you put to the box and you had a little ceremony in your backyard. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that the pictures that you provided him of your baby, fetus, were the exact same pictures that we found on the internet, we found on the internet, the exact same pictures you provided, when you Google it, those are the first pictures that pop up. The picture of the blood clot that they sent me is not the same one that I sent them. Yeah, I is. checked on my, I had, I had an iPhone at the time, I went back and checked on my iCloud, and there was only like three but pictures you left. you told me the same day, you could not access your iCloud, there's only no, two I pictures on your you iCloud, three. so tell another lie. There's three, tell I another told lie, you there Nikki. was three. Tell another lie. I'm not now lying you're to you. Him I'm lie. not lying you're lying to you, this man. No, I'm Come not. On, you, you, no, I'm you not. bluffing. No. You bluffing. No, I'm not, you bluffing. Sean. Keep lying. Come on, okay. keep lying, because you um, know what? Ain't nobody believing so, it. So, did you ever, did you, you know, like, uh, I remember the first time my wife got pregnant, she showed me the pregnancy sticks, right? I did right? not know I was pregnant. We thought that we may have been pregnant, but we never confirmed it. I have two kids already. Wait I know a second, how it works, man. This is the first time you're ever pregnant? You don't have any other children? Exactly, no. So, this is the first time you're pregnant, and you didn't even go get a stick to pee on? Right, exactly. Uh, exactly. No, because... I'm asking you, did you get a stick to no. pee on? You didn't do that. No, no, because I didn't know. The I didn't. simplest, most common thing to do to find out if you're pregnant, she you didn't, didn't do, do it. We thought we may have been pregnant, but we weren't positive. So I never got, you know, tested or whatever. I have two kids already. I already know okay, I have kids. Okay, but so, so, but at some point you said you, you didn't know you were pregnant, you. but something was going on. You called the doctor and said, I think I'm being, uh, I'm miscarrying. After I had blood clot right. and everything. Well, then you, and then you went and checked out and the doctor said what? I, she said, yeah, you had a miscarriage. I had to have a DNC and everything. And she didn't say, I want to see the fetus or anything? No? Okay, so you go home, you put it in the box, you never show him, well, why can't he see that? Because I didn't want him to have to see what I just saw and it tear him up like it tore me up. Okay. And so that's had, exactly so what he I had, told he him had to shake the box. I didn't tell him to shake it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so then you buried the, the box, right, in the ground? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who dug it up? I have no idea. Did you dig it up? No, I did not. You didn't dig it up? Nope. Who do you think dug it up? I have no idea. That's why I called him. She tried to say I, that my, no. my goons did it. But no, let me tell I you, said, I ain't finna send I my homeboys to be face my grave. Friend, one of your sick friends would have done that. Why, would, they, why, why would anybody do that, though? Exactly. Why would exactly. anybody dig up a, a People are crazy. Uh, uh, you know. Yeah, exactly. People are crazy. People are crazy, right? <laughs> People are crazy. People are crazy. Exactly. People are crazy. And you're sitting here acting like I'm the only one that's ever so done this, anything wrong. So no, this, I, you already know so what's wrong. Don't try to put that hold on. Hold on, hold on. You're here today, <laughs> and you are you. saying that this story is the absolute truth. Yes, I am. And you took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. And, and I'm president of the United you, States. <laughs> 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 I mean, really. And you think that you passed the lie detector test. Mm -hmm. Could you be trapped in a big lie? Mm -hmm. I don't want to embarrass you. Okay, I don't. So here's your chance to tell the truth. I have the paperwork at home. Why wouldn't you bring it? Because the night I before. I could have tore it open. The night before, <laughs> one, it's my medical. I'll show him, but I don't think the whole world needs to see my medical bill or my medical bill. You're stuff. on the show. Secondly, <laughs> I didn't want to so, come on the show you're and tell everybody. You provided the pictures of your fetus. I didn't. Right? He did that. I did. Cause they need to I see. I didn't want. I didn't want to come crazy, on the show. I the whole world should know you crazy. I didn't want to come on the show. So ain't nobody else gonna go through what I went through. Ain't nobody else gonna go through what I went through.
Ain't nobody else deserves to go through what I went through. Okay. So I hope the whole world knows that you got okay. an issue. Okay. If if you're willing, um, if you have, if you want to say something now, if you want to get something off your chest, the truth, before I read your lie detector results, here's your chance. I have, I have not lied about anything. Wow. Okay. Wow. This, this, listen, there's nothing to get her about. If, if she's lying, this, she's only hurting herself. She's not hurting anybody else. Yeah. yeah. Um, she hasn't molested a child. She hasn't abused a child. She hasn't done anything. If she's lying, if you're lying, you haven't done anything. You're, you're, you're ruining your relationship with him. That's what you're doing, if you're lying. All right, Nicole, you came here. We gave you a lie detector test, and we asked you, are you lying that you miscarried the child in January of 2014? And you answered no. Were those photographs of the miscarriage from the Internet? And you said no. Did you remove the box from the memorial site? And you said no. And the results came back the same to each question. And they came back to you, Nicole. He coming in smelling like other women. Coming in with scratch marks on his back. He came in with a hick and told me it was a mosquito bite, Steve. You was always accusing me of cheating on you. So that's why I did it. You did make one mistake. You slept with somebody you probably shouldn't have slept with, right? Yes. OK, let's bring that person out. No, 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 this is wrong, this is wrong. Are you lying that you miscarried the child in January of 2014? And you answered no. Were those photographs of the miscarriage from the internet? And you said no. Did you remove the box from the memorial site? And you said no. And the results came back the same to each question. And they came back that you, Nicole, did not tell the truth. See, I told you, you lying bitch. Love you, love you, love you crazy. Here, here's, here's the problem I have with her. Um, why don't, and I want to say this to her. Why don't you come back and you can listen to it, okay? While I tell her, okay? Okay, now, Nicole, I know you're upset, okay? And what I... What I don't understand is why live with such a big lie for so long and this lie buys you nothing. I mean... Because I'm not lying. I'm still lying, here's, yo. here's the deal, Nicole. You could say, you know what? I'm young and I'm dumb and I made a foolish mistake and I, and I, I love you and I want to hold on to you. You could say these things, but to continually to lie, to be so outrageous with your lies, how can any man hope to have a normal relationship with you? You can't. And I agree, you can't. And I, I've even told him that if he wanted me to go get professional help or whatever, I would, but he got he I couldn't, but, Ashley, but okay, he you couldn't give up it. on me. And what is he doing? Yeah, giving I'm up giving up on Because you okay. lied to me. But what I'm saying is, not once, if you not right twice. now, hold on, hold on. And yes, agree sir. with yes, you sir. agree. You tell me if I'm wrong at any point. Okay. If you would admit right now, say, you know what? I'm wrong. I got caught up in this lie. I'm sorry. These results are true, and I'm going to get help. You'd be willing to work on a relationship nope. with her? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's done. Over with. I'm not a baseball player. I don't do three strikes. That's the second one. It's done. All right. It's okay, done. Okay, well, would you be willing to admit that, yes, it's a small lie that got carried away? I did not lie about miscarrying his baby or digging up the grave. <laughs> How about the internet photos? I, probably, yes. You, you lied about that, so you right? you lied about everything else, too. I didn't okay. lie about having a miscarriage. Okay, so you, you will admit that you did take those photographs off the Internet. Okay. Um, any 
normal, sane, reasonable person wouldn't believe this story. Nobody would. No. Um, and, and you're only hurting yourself because you're still very young. And even though your relationship with him is over, and I believe it is because... Oh, yeah, it's over. Yeah. Um, capiche. You, you have a future. And you're going to ruin any future relationship you have with this kind of behavior. And I don't know if you can correct this by yourself. Would you agree that you need help? I've told him that I need help. And I told you to go because, get it, but you uh, refused to. And why do you need help? Because I do, I do have a lying problem and a heat, and I've told him that. I've admitted okay. that to him you before. You have a very big lying problem. Um, you got your answers. You, 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 listen, all you got was verified answers. Mm -hmm. You had your answers before yeah. you got here. You knew the truth. Uh -huh. You came here. You want to, we, we, I want it on paper. Well, you want it on paper. You got it. Uh, you know, you could have you saved this a long time ago. If you really yeah. loved him, you could have saved this I relationship. Really loved him. And but I you thought he really loved me. I did, but I, I, I think can't he love does. somebody who lies to me. If you wouldn't treat me the way you did if you, you loved me. You know me. what? You wouldn't go out there and make me look like a fool if you loved no. me. You made yourself look like a fool. Uh, the stuff you were no. saying before I even got out Listen, there, yeah. some of the stuff that wasn't true. All of it's true. I ain't got nothing to lie about. Go hook me up to a polygraph test. I'll blow Listen, it out the water and tell you the truth. You only, you only made talk. yourself look like a fool. Exactly. That right there, that's like a certificate. I'm a fool. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, too. Thank you, sir. You was always accusing me of cheating on you, so that's why I did it. How many times did you cheat on her? I can't even count. I can't even count on my fingers. You did make one mistake. You slept with somebody you probably shouldn't have slept with, right? Yes. Okay, let's bring that person on. No, 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 no. If this wrong, if this wrong. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Kamisha thought she finally found true love two years ago when she met her boyfriend, Derek. Aww. They were even planning on getting married and building a family. Aww. But then Kamisha started to suspect that he was cheating. Aww. Now her suspicions have torn this relationship apart and she refuses to marry him until she finds out the truth. I'm here trying to save my relationship with, with my boyfriend. You know, it's, it started off like, you know, I'm, I know that he, it's this age difference between us, you know. There's a little bit of age difference. Yes, yeah. he's, he's, he's 19 now, and I'm 32. Wow. So I met him. I met, it, no, no, so no, So you were no. a 30-year-old dating a 17-year-old. Right, but it wasn't, it won, Steve, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. He won't no, he don't want no average 17-year-old. He kept down two jobs. He graduated. He didn't act like no 17-year-old. He was a mature 17-year-old. He didn't want no, no kids, no, no. It wasn't like, you know, an average 17-year-old get out there and get the plan, you know, want to do to have many girlfriends. It wasn't like that, Steve. What was it, it was, like? It was like, he showed me the world, Steve. He loved he me. He showed you the world? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he gave me. I'm talking about. He gave me the world, Steve. He, you know, he, he made me feel like I was his princess. I was the only one in his life. How did he show you the world? That's so How true. he showed me the world it was like, yeah. you know, he took me out. You know, he showed me a good time. You know, yeah. he showed me. Um, ooh, Steve. The seventh. <laughs> Steve, you don't know. I mean, you just. I gotta imagine sex with a 17-year-old uh, boy. It's fantastic, Steve, he's right? not no boy. He's, he's a... But he's it's a 17-year-old. Come on. He's, he's a boy. Oh, okay. No, not, not to me. Not right. to me. Not but to the me. sex was great. <sighs> you, know, Steve. you don't know, Steve. You don't know. You don't I know, because I was 17 once. <laughs> right. See, now, what I find funny, if this was a different... If this was a man dating a 17-year-old girl, Nobody would be applauding. Okay, so, I okay. Mean, but, I mean, uh, do you think that you could have a long-term relationship with, and he's still, even two years later of dating, he's still a teenager? Y yes, yes, I, I, do, I do see a you long do. relationship. But yes. uh, you do think that he's been cheating on you. Yes. And that's what teenagers do. Yeah. So why do you think he's cheating on you? Okay, it's, it's, it started out just suspicious, you know. He's going saying that he's going to play basketball with his partners oh, okay. or with his homies. Right. Or, you know, he going to the club with his homies. No, he coming in smelling like other women's, coming in with scratch marks on his bag. He came in with a hickey and told me it was a mosquito bite, Steve. A mosquito bite. 
How did he explain the scratch marks on his back? Was that from basketball? Going up for a rebound? Oh my God, Steve, let me tell you, let me tell you. Tell me. He comes in, he didn't say, hey baby, no, he, he rushed off to the shower. So I let him get, you know, get, get in this to the shower. And I run in behind his ass, Steve. So you know, I go in. I'm, where you get these scratch marks from? Um, I was just playing basketball with my homeboy and he scraped. So you telling me you gay now? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, well, how did you get scratches on your back? You, you playing basketball with your shirt off? What y'all out there having a man contest or something? You saw me playing basketball, well, how did scratches get on your back? Well, you know, they're shirts and skins, right? Tell me anything. <laughs> Tell me anything, but I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that, Steve. Yeah. Nah, so you think that. that maybe a woman scratches his back? Yes, yes, I, I really do. Um, and, and when you ask him, does he cheat on you, what does he say? He denies it. He denies it. I come confront him about it. Oh, he gets up in my face. Does he tell you that he loves you? Yes, every time. And I love you. you. I'm not cheating on you. Stop accusing me. And you were, were going to marry this guy? I was going to have a baby by him, Steve. A baby? Yes. He took a lie detector test. If he fails this lie detector test, what are you going to do? Security, y'all better hold me back. Y'all better hold me back. Y'all better hold me back. But. My question is, would you stay with him? I don't know, Steve. Would you then maybe go for a, a man more your age? Yes, yeah. I, I will. Because it probably is a mistake dating a teenager. Right, and it was just... But if he's not cheating... It was just, a, it was if, just his body. Right, was... but if he's, if he's not cheating, then you wouldn't want the relationship... If he's not cheating... Be, then you're going to get married. We, 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 we can start a life. We, we can go and get this family started, and we can go and get married. All right. Let's meet your boyfriend, Derek. You treat me like I'm a good child. Tell me what to do, calling me. Tell me when, what time I need to be in, what time I need to check in. I'm just 19 years old. But you didn't come off like me like that, that Derek. You, I'm, I'm talking about you came to me like you want no 19 year old. Well, what, what do you expect from me? I'm 19 years old. I'm going to do what I want to do. I the world from you, Derek. What you mean? Why, why do you expect because the I, world from Derek, me? I'm not trying to do that. I love you. I want a family with you. I want to marry you, Derek. What do you How mean? How you expect that? And I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Not with me, you not. Well, if you feel not like that, why you want to go find somebody else? Because I love you. I, I too much love you. What you mean? I want too, too many girls in this. I want too many girls in this. Girls. You did make one mistake. You slept with somebody you probably shouldn't have slept with, right? Yes. Okay, let's bring that person up. No, 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 no. This wrong, this is wrong. You did make one mistake. You slept with somebody you probably shouldn't have slept with, right? Yes. Okay, let's bring that person up. Hey, I, I've been stalked. You following me while I'm at work, doing everything. If I'm like, got no trust for me. What you mean? Like, why can't you why can't trust me? Like, I can trust why you. Why can't trust you? Why you, can't, why you can't trust me? Why can't trust you? Where the heck can come off from your neck? Eh? What you mean? It was a mosquito. Well, it was a mosquito. Wait, man. No, no, it wasn't. You like, like, I'm tired of you doing, doing stuff like that. Hey, the I don't even want hold you back. no more. I don't even want I you no trip. more. You I go trip. about your business, I'm man. Trip. I don't even want you no I, more. So you're saying you don't want to be with her anymore? No. Um, uh, now, you started dating her when you were 17, yes. right? Yes. And you've been with her for the two years. Yes. Now, I got to imagine, uh, I tried to think back if I was 17 and if I was dating an older woman, there has to be certainly some advantages to it. She had a lot going for herself, working, own apartment, own car. I like women she like that. She cooked for you? Yes. Yeah. Um, how, was, how was your sex life? She had it. <laughs> she had it. She had it. And I always go keep it, Steve, you hear me? And I always go keep it, but he failed his lot to tell the test. Guess what? Somebody else is going to be sleeping in his beds. OK, but you said. You, but even before we get to that, you said you don't want to be in this relationship anymore. It's too much going on, like trust issue. I can't be in no relationship with nobody that can't trust me. She doesn't me. trust you. Is there a reason why she doesn't trust you? I mean, she, from the get go, she didn't trust Tell me at all since we Tell first met. What happened at the movies? I seen a girl I knew, and I got her number. He knew. He knew. 
I seen I know. a girl I knew. Come and, on now. And you got her number for what reason? So I, so we do some catching up. Yeah. So we can do some catching Steve. up. I'm going to tell you. Come on, tell you the truth, Steve. I'm going to tell you the truth, Steve. Come on, now. So we do some catching up. Come on, now. That don't now. mean we ain't, we ain't got no strings to catch or nothing. You just were catching up. Yes. No mustard. No mustard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, no and, mustard. And with a little barbecue sauce with it, Steve. Some barbecue. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, I gotta imagine, and I remember when I was 17, I wanted to be with all the women, not just one. I wanted them all. Uh, you're you're different than I am. No, sir. I thought she was the one for me, Steve. I did. But she's not. She's not. So, Derek, it sounds like. Um, is instead of reading the results, is there anything you want to tell Kamisha? Yes, I've been cheating on you for the last three weeks. Let me tell you this: you got you got to understand me. I'm young. I'm gonna do what I want to do. If you can't expect that from me, then we don't need to be together. You can't trust me. Get, get, get out of my you, face. I don't want to hurry. Get out of my face. You, you if you, you okay, you cheat on me all the way. I don't want to hurry. Wanna, you, you, you was always accusing me of cheating on you. So that's why I did it. How many times did you cheat on her? I can't even count. I can't even count on my fingers. So you was out. Um, Give me, there, but there is one thing that. Get away from her, Steve. I uh, want to go. Can we, should, can we go. go back on stage just for a second? You, you know what? You do some side. Um. You know what, this, this can't come as a big surprise. I don't know if a uh, you know, 30-year-old woman should be getting involved with a 17-year-old uh, boy. Let me tell you, Steve, if she feel that way, like I'm not the one for her, she might as well find somebody her age. Right. I, well, I think this is the pitfalls when you date somebody that's a teenager, like yourself, and now you're in this relationship. I think at 17, it's normal. Um, it's it's got to be hard to be in a monogamous relationship when you're 17, 18, 19. Um, but you did make one mistake. You slept with somebody you probably shouldn't have slept with, right? Yes. Who who was it? You did make one mistake. You slept with somebody you probably shouldn't have slept with, right? Yes. Who, who was it? Her sister. My sister? My sister? I ain't seen my sister in a year. My sister? Really? My yeah. sister? You accused me of this? Up with your That's my sister. Boyfriend. I see my sister yeah. in the Euro. Right, uh, That's my sister. I, I would hope that no, she no, come no, out no, 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 no. This wrong. This is wrong. This just wrong. He just, just doing something. She's just doing something. Right. So, Derek, really, my sister. This is my sister. And even though we didn't get along when we was young, but I can't believe you go out my child. man. He my child. man though. I don't yeah, never child, do you bro, like that. I did it. It's a done deal. I apologize. I can't take nothing back. So. Did I ain't trying to. I mean, did you know, know they were together? Yes, but I'm not trying to have no relationship. But you I was, knew just, we wasn't I was really like getting her back for talking about me and stuff. But she got to understand. That's he a really? child. He a. Y'all can have each other. Um, I'm through. Y'all can have each other. He a child, though. Kids going to do what they no, want to do. No, you're right. And with all the cheating. Just nasty. How did, it, how did you end up sleeping with her? met at a party one time, you know, we hooked up. Just nasty, both of y'all. You know what, I want both of y'all out of my life. Do with y'all. Baby, you can have him. Do with y'all. Um, do with y'all. I wanna be with him. I just want both of y'all out of my you life. You know, uh, like I said, um, first of all, I told your sister, I think when you date a teenager and you're in your 30s, these are the things that are gonna happen when you date yes. a, a teenager. You know, you're- But still though, he a child anyway, so why are you trying to make this me and your uh, what you mean? He wasn't no child. He wasn't no child to me. He but wasn't. if you think he's a child, then why are you sleeping with him? Because I'm not trying to be right. with him. He look right. good, dog. Right. He look good. He look good. He look good. good. She fell to love like yeah. I did. You're, like you're, a dummy. You're a dirty dog, right? Okay. Because, a dirty dog. Because, like this one right here. You know like no matter him. what happens, you don't do your, you don't okay. do your family like that. Get the hell off my stage. <laughs>
Okay. You know what? Um, you next. He gonna throw your ass off his stage too. That that part's bad. You probably should, you know, pick somebody else that night. But you gotta know, as much as you're hurt, that this was inevitable. So what that mean? You need to go find somebody your age to be with to treat you oh, right. I am. I am. That's Trust me, I am. It's a done deal. Yeah. It's a done deal. Once we get home, your ass out. You gone. Okay. You gone. So I gotta ask you, if he comes over within the next week, knocks on your door, wants what to sleep you with next you. Next week. I don't even be there, Steve. So I'm saying. Are you telling me you're never gonna sleep with him again? Hey, hey what you mean? Ne never! She can't never! Even, never! She can't even put her life on that. She can't even put her life on that. If you're never gonna be with him again, walk out that door. You ain't said nothing but a word. Good luck, girl. Hey, nice meeting, man. I always wanted to meet you. Oh, <laughs> thanks, man. Stay.